yarn or fiber enthusiast who enjoys finding new patterns or designs or maybe even enjoy watching what others spin or seeing somebody spin for the first or million times. If so, my name is Sydney. Welcome to Sweet Pieces Inspirations and also welcome to this little segment that I call All Things Yarn Related where I talk about all things yarn related. Um, so I am a designer as far as crocheting and knitting. I do tutorials along with written patterns. I also weave and I also spin as well. So you'll see videos on all of those along with Tunisian crocheting as well. So if you enjoy all of those things, please feel free to enjoy this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, share, comment, or subscribe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. <music> to thank each and every one of you for being here whether you're new or returning and if you are new here if you would not mind letting me know that down in the comment section now i do have some very exciting news to share with you guys shannon over at shannon talk sharon and myself have been keeping a huge secret from our viewers which is we are going to be going live this saturday which is january 20th of 2022 at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 10 o'clock Central Time. Um, we've been keeping this secret for a few months now and we are very both excited for this and this is going to be as of right now and every month thing and it's going to um, interchange between my channel and her channel so this month is going to be over at her channel and next month should be over at my channel. Again, this should be every Saturday uh, of the month, but if things changes, changes, then we will definitely let our viewers know. Um, if you would not mind on Saturday, please popping over and saying hello and just supporting both of us. We would greatly enjoy it and appreciate it. So if you would not mind just popping over and maybe stick around too if you can. Um, so that is some very exciting news that I do have. Now there is a few other things that are going to be on the horizon shortly, but I can't talk about this right now. And when the time comes, I will definitely let you guys know um, exactly what is going to be happening. Um, some of this might, if you're a spinner, you might be a little more interested in this, but I'm also going to propose something for non-spinners as well but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, so this week has been a very crazy week, weird. It's been one of those weeks, if it could go wrong, it would go wrong. So that's how my week's been. I haven't worked on too much with that taking place, but I have gotten a few things accomplished. So if you've been watching me for at least the last month or so, you know that I got a Centro, I think back in either end of November or beginning of December. And my overall goal is to, I wanted to get 365 um, hats made by next December and then donate them. I don't know if that's going to actually happen. I think that's kind of pushing it a little bit because that, that means a hat a day each day for the next year. Um, that is very, um, that doesn't seem like a lot, but it also kind of is when you think about it. Um, so I haven't really been working on the hats too much. I'm still working on them. Um, I did get one hat finished this week. Again, this week's been a crazy week. So this hat is orange and then you can also turn it inside out and it will be yellow. Um, again, this was on my Centro knitting machine. So that is one hat that has been completed this week. Still trying to go at it just as much as I can. Um, now, this coming Sunday, there is going to be a video of me blending up some Rolex to spin up. This is the one extra one that I did have left um, for this Sunday's video. So if you would not mind, please feel free to enjoy that video. It's just a time-lapse video of me blending up some fiber. Again, that is this Sunday. Now, 
I'm going to address my one of my shawls that I've been currently working on for the last few weeks, which is the Pretty Please with Cherry on Top. I have now officially started on the tutorials. Um, I haven't gotten part one fully completed yet, but hopefully this week it will be completed. I started working on it yesterday and then some things happened. Um, so hopefully this week that shawl, the part one tutorial will be completed. Now I probably will not release the part one until part two is either almost completed or completed at the end of January into February, I will be out of town, so I won't be able to work on any kind of tutorials. So I'm trying to get those, the part one and part two of the shawl completed before I go out of town, but things do happen and we'll see. We're kind of playing it by ear right now. And I'm sorry for those who might be very, very eager to start on this pattern, but it's just taking some time and um, these last few weeks have been extremely crazy and if you've been around you may have heard me talk about some things so I do apologize if it seems like it's taking forever plus I'm also using a lace weight yarn or a sport weight yarn and those do take those projects do take a lot of time but for those who are new that have not seen the shawl yet this is the shawl so far. Again, this is called a Pretty Please with Cherry on Top. The first part is going over the main body that you do see here. And then part two will be going over the trim edge work. So um, please stick around if you would like to find out more updates on that shawl. I am currently working still on Rebecca's shawl that I am keeping secret for her. I did have to rip out the um, edging because I did not like the way that it was turning out, but things do happen. Luckily, it's just going to be a written pattern, which will be on my Raverly page. Um, and when there is new updates for that, I will let you guys know that as well. Now for the last thing, now I did do some spinning with the Rolex, which I will insert a picture somewhere on this video. Um, but the last thing that I have been currently working on is I had a viewer asked if I would not mind taking one of my shawls, which is the Simply Twisted Cable Shawl, and turning that into a blanket form. I said absolutely I kind of thought about this at one point but just never got to it so um, with somebody kind of asking I said absolutely I would love to and I started on that this week and got quite a bit completed so far um, now this is going to be a shorter tutorial because it, I just have to go through four rows with the cable um, so hopefully I can also get that out before or get that recorded before I go to go out of town as well. So this is what I have gotten done so far. It is going to be a fairly decent size blanket. I will say I'll have to make sure, but I'm pretty positive that it might stretch over top of a full, if not a queen size bed. So this is the blanket so far. I don't know if I'm going to call it the simply twisted cable blanket or if I'm going to go with a different name for this one. Um, let me know that down in the comment section whether you guys would still like to kind of keep the name the same as the shawl or maybe even just come up as a different name and if so please let me know what you would come up with it. Um, so this is the blanket and I think I'm maybe like eight rows in. Um, I am using some Premier yarn and also some Lupin Threads yarn, which is the dark gray and the Premier is the lighter gray. Um, this will be a four row repeat, so not much to it. Um, but that is all what I have been working on. If you would like to share with me what you guys are working on or wanting to work on or even if you would like to see me design something feel free to let me know that down in the comments section as well 
I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Again, if you can, please pop in over at Shannon's Live. We would greatly love to have you and greatly appreciate it as well. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week. Please stay safe and please stay warm. I know some of these states are getting hit with pretty cold weather and some snow and everything. So please stay warm. Please stay safe. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you guys next Friday.